A big day for college hoops in the Inland Northwest. Five different games featuring our Division I programs. The biggest tonight in Cheney. The Eastern Washington women hosting Gonzaga. Both teams picked to finish atop their conferences. The Zags coming off a loss to number 20 Louisville. Jamie Loetta looking to beat her older sister's college team, Jesse, a former Zag. This one was back and forth the whole way. The first half, a big one for Kaylin Trong. Splashes home a three here. She had 15 and a half, 23 on the night. Zags led 2017 after the first. Second quarter, Eags would go on a big run. Loetta had a three threes in the half. Pumped after this one to put Ewo up 35-28. The Zags would cut into that lead though. Second half now, Yvonne Ejim scored just as many as Kalen, 23 points. This the biggest, a buzzer beater to end the third. Bulldogs up 59-57. Fourth quarter, why not continue trading punches? Lewis and Clark High stand up. It's Jacinta Buckley, three, Eags up five. But the Zags would tie things up. Now taking the lead, Eliza Hollingsworth down low for an 80-78 Bulldogs lead. Still time left for the Eags. Now down four after a pair of Gonzaga free throws. Aaliyah Alexander gets the layup to go. That cuts it to two, and Gonzaga proceeds to throw the ball away. And it inbounds for Eastern, so they have a chance to tie or win. The Eags go for the corner three winner, but Lawrence's three hits off the side of the backboard. What a game in Cheney. Gonzaga barely hangs on 82 to 80. Our Andrew Quinn has more from Reese Court. Well, Travis, what a game and what a treat these area women's basketball games have been this season as the Zags eke out a win over Eastern Washington, thanks in large part to a late game sequence showing this team's resilience. Yvonne Ejim and Eliza Hollingsworth both missed layups before both had big blocks leading to Hollingsworth eventual game winning layup. We found a way to, to win it and I think that's because they didn't. We, we don't have a second to feel sorry for yourself. You just have to turn around and get back. And our team didn't do that today. We lost a shooter in transition. We gave up a, you know, an easy look on an action that we knew was coming. All those kinds of things where, you know, it doesn't seem like a lot when it's the first quarter or the second quarter, but it all adds up when it's a two-point game. So we, you know, just need to continue to learn and continue to grow from that. The Eags will be right back here on Sunday afternoon as they host Boise State. That game is set to tip off at 2 p.m. while the Zags will head home to take on Cam Brink and number three Stanford tip off of that game is set for 1 p.m. For now, reporting at Reese Court in Cheney, Andrew Quinn, Crumb 2 Sports.